On this episode of It's Me or the Dog, Victoria meets Cortez and his territorial terrier, Nico. So far, Nico has been relatively calm, so Cortez brings him into the bedroom to show Victoria his true colors. Whenever I'm in my bedroom, Nico will not let anyone anywhere near my bedroom door. So walk away. When Cameron came to Cortez's door, Nico was instantly off the bed and barking at him. This happens every time you walk past. Every morning um, when I try to leave, this is what happens. That's what happens. And then as Cameron left and walked down the hallway, Nico was after him. Cameron can't even get to his room because he's got to pass Nico. So Cameron, you're living in a house where you cannot relax. You told me there's a possibility you're going to move out, are you? Well, I hope that we can rectify the situation so that, you know, it doesn't come to that. I was actually taken way off guard uh, when Cameron said that he was, you know, thinking about possibly moving out because he is in all essence of the word, a prisoner in his own home. So, I've come up with a plan, and this is it. I have here two boxes. Okay. This box is going to stay with you in your room, Cortez. OK. And inside it, we have some amazing toys. This is going to be your ammunition when you walk past. Whenever Cameron goes past, he throws a squeaky toy to Nico to play with. That means that Nico is going to concentrate on the squeaky toy instead of the angst of having Cameron near the bedroom. OK, so if you get onto the bed now, I'm going to stand here. It's going to be tough because Cameron is terrified of Nico. I know that the squeak will hold his attention for a little bit, but I don't know if it'll allow him to actually get all the way down the hallway. Cameron, start walking past. Come and say hi. Hey, Cortez. Squeak the toy. That's it, throw onto the bed. There you go, walk past. Good. Couldn't give a rip de doo right. Wonderful. <laughs> Good. OK, Cameron, go get your other toy. Come in and sit on the bed. Are you kidding? I just know that Nico's not going to pay attention to that squeaky toy. He's coming right after me. Cameron, relax. A large part of this is Cameron's tension. He's got to learn how to relax and trust. If he's more of an authoritative figure, Nico's not going to go for him as much. Squeak it as you do it. There you go. There you go. Now give it to him. Good boy. This training went really well, because during my observation, Nico would charge out at Cameron. He would run after Cameron barking. He charged at me, barked at me. He bit me. He was extremely territorial. Now I could be in the room with Cortez, no problem. Cameron could come in the room, and Nico was completely fine with it. All right. All right. <laughs> we found the trick. Oh, yeah. thank goodness for squeaky right. toys. I am so proud of Nico. Cameron can actually walk by my door and come into the bedroom and talk to me without Nico attacking him. I'm free. <laughs> yeah. All because of a squeaky hamburger. <laughs> OK, I'm going to leave you guys. OK. Cortez, you have to step up and be a leader. You are responsible for giving him the praise he needs to really make him confident. OK. And Cameron, don't fear anymore. Take charge, take control, and he'll listen. And you can do it. Okay. You both work really hard. Keep it up, because I can tell you, if you don't, Nico's behavior is going to go right back to where it started. OK. Good luck, and I will be back. All right. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you guys. Right. Victoria's given us a long list of stuff to work on, and I made the commitment to Cortez and Nico, so I'm going to stay true to it. Nico has also shown drastic improvement with his bedroom guarding. All right, All right Cortez, I'm leaving. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Training's been going really, really well. I feel that Nico's, you know, been making really good progress. I know we still got a long way to go, but really proud of the job up to this point. Since Victoria's left, the bedroom training has been going really, really well. Nico has not attacked Cameron. See you later. Thanks, Cortez. Bye. 
Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.